wash machine fills with water and then stops. This is part two with a free easy fix on this Kenmore wash machine that fills with water then stops. Hello and thank you for stopping by. This fix applies to Kenmore, Whirlpool, Maytag, Roper, just about any top load wash machine. To start with, the first thing you want to do is to make sure you have power coming from your outlet. Once you have power coming from the outlet, you want to make sure that your power cord is supplying power to the machine. Once I establish that, I disassemble this machine. I have the cover taken off, have it up here on top of the dryer. After you make sure your outlet is working, disconnect the plug, disconnect the connector from the lid switch, and check for continuity between the prongs and the connector. If you have continuity, one of these prongs to one of the posts in the connector, and they all have continuity, now you have eliminated a possible bad outlet, a bad cord. The next, we'll check the lid switch. And now, to show you the elusive but simple fix for this washer not working. Let me get my nailing pillow down. <clears throat> On the bottom, right here, here's your motor, here's your pump, here's your electrical connections going into the motor. This is a switch for the motor. Depending on the settings you have, it sets off different switches. And this is the piece I came down to check out. From the suggestions I had, I came down to check this out. Inside, over here, inside the switch, they say sometimes there's some corrosion. But when I got down here, this connector was off. It was just barely hanging on. It wasn't connecting at all. So all those hours of going through everything I went through, all it was was this connector loosened up. Now, let's go topside and get this running. This is the new controller I put on, which wasn't needed. So this was just shy of $200 wasted. With the cover removed, we don't have the lid, so we don't have the lid switch. To compensate for that, I have this jumper to connect the wires. This is where the lid switch would control it. So now let's fire it up and see what we have. Oh, before I do that, I drained as much water out of this as I could, but there was water on the bottom of this and it stained the tub. I scrubbed it with a nylon brush and some bleach. Now I have some bleach in there, some Dawn, and some of my old work shirts. These are the shirts I wear when I work on the cars and whatnot. So if, so if they come out stained or whatever, it's not going to make a difference. So let me get this going. And by the way, this isn't the safest way to do this by far. If you're doing this at home, don't follow this procedure. So all it was was the connection on the bottom. Now I do have a link up above on what you could use a washer for that doesn't work. But the parts just don't make it worthwhile to fix it. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. If you found this video useful or entertaining, give it a like. It helps tremendously. And if you know someone else who may find this video helpful, please share it with them. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Hit that Joe Z button. And not to miss my new videos as I upload them, be sure to ring that bell. Until next time, stay safe.